off. And I had trouble getting away, but I didn't even see. Did anybody follow you here? No, I was careful. So you left it. It's done. Yeah, it's there, man. All right. You know you're part of this now. All the way. Doing some work and singing. I thought I was. Yeah, man, you gotta come over. Yeah. 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 It's been a while. Yeah, long while. Oh, well, let me get a look at you, brother. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Oh, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you. Yes. <sighs> uh, let me get the jacket, man. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Ooh. Sorry about that. Yeah, no problem, man. So, uh, what business brings you all the way up here? <laughs> I'll get to all that in a minute. Let me just warm up first. <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be spring? Uh, not yet. Yeah, I can tell. It's cold as fuck. <laughs> you can't even all the snow. Nah, you get used to it, man. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, it's really good to see you, brother. Yeah, I told myself I couldn't be this close and I'd hit up my boy. I ain't gonna let no little snowstorm stop me for time. You ain't nothing but a hop, skip, and a jump in the city. <laughs> More like a hop, skip, jump, and a two and a half hour train ride. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half hours? I, I didn't notice. I made some calls before I know they're calling out Albany, Schenectady. Uh, Capital District. Yes, I rode on the side with a view of the Hudson River. Mm. I like that ride. It's very relaxing. I don't know how relaxing it is. There was quite the police presence at the station. I haven't yeah. seen a place like that in years. Well, they're still on the lookout for the uh, leader of that radical group. Oh. Mm -hmm. Feds are kind of shook, huh? <clears throat> I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, have a seat, man. Oh, thank you. I did enjoy the train ride. Uh, I didn't have to drive, so that was good. And I got to do some work, you know, made a few calls. I even called up here. Your, uh, well, I called your office. Your secretary said that you would be working upstate today. Yeah. Sometimes it's easier to get right and done outside of the office, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm doing, too, you know, working for the road. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of, I got something I want to wrap up. Yeah, man, about. slow down, okay? Just got here. I haven't seen you in what? Six? Seven. Eight years. Right. Yeah. So how about a drink first? How about that? Okay. Something to warm your bones. Rum and coke, right? Uh, I'm a jack man now. Okay. Jack and coke plus ice if you got it. Ice. Gotcha. Yeah, man. Sorry I couldn't make it out last time I was in L.A. for that protest. Oh. You know? <clears throat> Firm Someone had me locked down at depositions. It was a uh, police brutality case. Yeah, right? you missed it. Mm. <laughs> I was flowing up there. Sometimes I feel like the spirits of past warriors are speaking through me. You got some good people writing for you, man. What can I say? I know how to spot talent. Hey, but your writing was phenomenal. <coughs> I, I, I still miss your pen after all these years. Yeah, my pen's mightier than the sword, right? Well, sometimes it depends on the kind of battle you're waging. Blame you if folks like a handsome face and a loud mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though. Bringing the Bloods and Crips together, that's no, no easy task, mm. even if it's for a moment. You gotta give your props on that one. Pressure's all over. Well, I don't do anything for the coverage, I do it all for the people. Yeah, I heard you got a bad boy in Death Row Records. Too many folks have heard about that. Yeah. That's a meeting I would have liked to have been in. Well, the front seats are for the paying customers only. Besides, things didn't uh, end up too well for them. Well, even you can't win them all, can you? Yeah, but a brother does keep trying. Yeah, I can't tell you how hard it is to 
get people to negotiate sometimes. Sometimes I wonder if it's even worth it. Each the alternative. The firm is always trying to settle outside of court. Save our resources for those times when we have to go to war. Besides, mm. man, you know, work keeps you and your activities in the limelight, right? Well, off-camera moves in the dark are sometimes better than those carried out in the light of day. Next time I'm in L.A., I'll make sure I stop through Oh, support. don't <laughs> worry about it. Come on, you're a busy and important man. Sometimes you got to bring the mountains to Muhammad. Right. Hey, but I, I'm sorry I just dropped in like this. You know, you said any time I was in town, I should just fall through. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know how that works. Oh, sure. Hey, you used to like them bitch-ass drinks. What you got there? <laughs> <laughs> Scotch. Neat. Scotch? Ah, you all grown up now? You old man. <laughs> To Mason Nathaniel Dixon. To Dix. <laughs> Just Mason. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> well, two reunions. Just Mason. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of strong. You need some more ice? No, no, I'm good. <laughs> Gentlemen, Dix! <laughs> My brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> no, just tip me up a little more of that coke. All right. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. Listen, I'm not sweating you, but it would really help me out if you uh. Yeah, took a look remind at this me thing. of um. How long are you gonna be on the East Coast? Oh, I didn't say. It all uh, depends on how my meetings go, you know. Um, yeah. If things wrap up, you know, it's things kind of open ended. <clears throat> open ended. Yeah, that'll work. Thank you. So uh, you're saying things are open-ended? Yes. If my meetings go well, I can escape back to civilization away from all this fucking snow. How do you deal with this? You get used to it, man. I'm good. You're good? Yeah. We all good. We weren't all good back in the day when we ran the yard, though. We were some bad motherfuckers back then. Hmm. Yeah. Nowadays, the only running I do is in the park. The cops don't think you're running from something. Otherwise, you might find yourself on the wrong end of a barrel facing a man in blue. <laughs> yeah, I'll take my chances, man. So, um, when do you need to get back down to the city? And um, you're staying here how long? Until tomorrow. <laughs> if that's okay, I'm sorry. I don't want to impose. It's cool, man. It's just I can't hang too tough. I came up here to get work done, have a brief in the morning. Right. So. I don't want to get all in your mix, okay? I'll uh, get myself a room downtown. Okay, 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 Brown. It's cool, man. You sure? Yeah, it's fine, man. Come on. Hey, listen, if it's an issue, I it's, don't. It's okay. You're my guest. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> hey, let me check my phone. Uh, it's fucking up on the train. Couldn't get a signal half the damn time, and now the battery's going dead. You got a place where I can plug this in? Sure, it's an uh, outlet on the other side of the bar, back bar. Yeah, these phones, they always got a nigga on the run. You gotta back it up, you gotta charge it, and then every year you gotta get a brand new one. Hell, they're worse than bitches. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, that's a cool painting, where'd you get it? It's a gift from the partners at the firm. Lead on a copyright infringement case a few years back, and uh, my client got a pretty nice settlement. Well, you're amazed now. But you were always a tough little dude. Even as a sophomore, you had swag. I remember writing like balls, looking the heart of Jay, come on, come on. Fred Hampton, Malcolm X, huh? Aye, aye. Good. You want me to put some more coke in that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You'll definitely just go light on the jack. <laughs> Sit down to eat before I got to work anyway, so. Are you sure? Fine. I 
I mean, if you're going to eat anyway, I might as well eat too. You know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like pasta? Yeah, man. Uh, baked ziti. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, is there any uh, meat in it, or have you gone vegan on me? Turkey meatball. Well, if you eat it, it can't be, but so bad. I'm glad you approve, brother. Glad you approve. Yeah. Huh. Is that kale? Is he going super healthy on mine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, man, but I'm trying to live, bro. Yeah, aren't we all? Aren't we all? <laughs> I can make my own plate. Just show me what the kitchen is. Oh, bang. Over there. Okay. In the chair, over there. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. You know that uh, <coughs> mess they were serving on the dining car didn't look too appealing. Okay. Kay and Dick's back together again. <laughs> Show up as a tag if I do say so my damn self. Tables. Those are nice. Oh. <laughs> my tables. <laughs> Where'd you get those? Oh, fresh from motherfucking Paris, nigga. <laughs> I got myself a nice shine at Penn Station with this old cat. <clears throat> Said he used to run with the young lords. <clears throat> yeah, this sister I was kicking with in Baltimore, she got it for me. <clears throat> oh, what you get those shoes? Uh, Prada, maybe. Straight out of Prada. <coughs> I see you, player. I love it. <laughs> I remember when you were straight out of Compton. Yeah, man. I'm still the same cat. Man. I bet. Huh? Compton, born and bred, bro. Mm. Just trying to make my way in this world, you dig? Yeah, we cannot forget our roots. Let's take it back to the old school. That's what we need. What do we used to say? King and Malcolm changed the world clad in the armor of suits and ties? Come on, bro, we studied that shit. And the Panthers with their black leather jackets and the afros, berets iconic. Oh, and I used to wear that black leather Malcolm X medallion, and, and you used to rock that kufi to the divestment rallies. The honeys were ready to drop their panties for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, bro, I don't remember all of that. Okay. Besides, that is ancient history. I am a one-woman man now, thank you. Uh-huh. I'm just saying every era has its own style, you know? But these young bloods today, these knuckleheads running around in their baggy jeans, the big ass t-shirts and the sneakers. Mm -hmm. right, I love hip hop, but I do not understand why a grown ass man has to rock those clothes like he's a rapper when everybody knows you're an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't bother me. And I'm, I know you're not trying to talk to me. Uh, back then, 50 and 60 year old dudes weren't feeling our little outfits Little outfits. Brother, I was clean. <laughs> and looking at you right now, I can tell you ain't above all that damn stuff. I'm just talking about us making history. History? Yes. Did you ever think in the 80s we would live to see Mandela free? Actually, no. Can't say that I did. Yeah. But he died peacefully in his bed at the age of 95, a legend. We helped make that shit happen. No, no, no. The work we did for divestment helped to end apartheid on the world stage. I am proud of the work we did to end apartheid. We got our teeth trying to help it. Wow. No. We were on there. Yes, we were, doing we were revolutionaries. We were proud of it. No, that was our <laughs> abolitionist struggle. Our anti-lynching period, our civil rights movement, okay. our black power movement. Come on, man. Yes. Oh, I was there, brother. We shut down that university for two weeks. For like a few days. Come on. It was a classic. No, yeah, my folks were pretty upset. <laughs> you remember that bit my daddy do, right? I do remember. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let's see if I can see the door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Young man, we did not send you to school to start a riot. Have you lost your mind? But daddy! <laughs> that city mess is over! But daddy! Don't you know those cops are perfectly happy to oblige your death? But daddy! <laughs> we did not send you to school to play out some Fidel Castro fantasy! <laughs> what did I expect from the judge? <laughs> Son, if you do not stop, I will no longer pay your tuition or your automobile. Oh, that man could be an assassin. <laughs> your, car, your car will be repossessed by me <laughs> and stored here at the house until further notice. Not the Civic! <laughs> Bob threatened to take away the revolutionary Fitmobile. Oh, <laughs> Keep it 100, that's the first.
first time I ever stood up for him. That protest meant more to me than school. Even more than the sisters? Yes, if you can believe that. Hey, you were pretty dedicated to the cause back then, too. <coughs> Did they ever find out who bombed that building on campus? <laughs> Administration shut down the chemistry building for a year. They classified that as a bombing. Thought it was an experiment that went wrong in one of the labs. Hmm. I don't know what they classified it as, but I'm sure afraid the president's nerves. He had to move off campus for a few months. He talked some mess about having to get the residents retrofitted to survive an earthquake. <laughs> yeah, I remember something like that. Hmm. You get called in about that? About an explosion? No. <clears throat> the dean wanted to bring me in. Uh -huh. But uh, his pops, he saved the day. <laughs> With your future ahead of you and your back against the wall, here come the judge. Clear the way for a brave young soldier. Your father said the only reason they backed down is because they didn't want to piss off a generous donor. He always knew how to use that green to back up his mouth. Yeah, well, your father's, your father's a great man. Yes, he is. As long as you don't disappoint him. <laughs> hey, but after all that, you were the anti-apartheid poster boy. Administration couldn't touch you. You got into more draws than anything I ever did for you. Hey, you're always talking about women, man. The black female in particular is the best topic in the world. <laughs> Some things never change, huh? Females are one of the true hazards of my profession. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know about females. I do know a few things about women. Oh, come on. All right. Forget my language. I'm just talking shit. I'm old school. Hmm? You gotta have a heart for an old school freedom fighter like me. Oh, of course I have a heart for an old school freedom fighter like yourself, especially one who's never been shot, imprisoned, or worse. Well, tell me, does that make you a uh, fake revolutionary or just lucky? Lucky. I know you are not talking about luck. You're the one that got out of South Central L.A. with a fancy law degree. <laughs> well, luck had nothing to do with that. I mean, after all, my parents didn't lay everything out on a silver platter for me. Okay, maybe it seemed that way from the outside. And wouldn't know anything <clears throat> about what you're about to try to explain to me. <laughs> my pops died owing me money. Well, there is skill and talent involved in this hustle. Yeah, I, believe. I know all about skill and talent. Know about sacrifice and risk as well. Mm -hmm. But you're doing pretty well now, though. You got a nice spot upstate, a little something in the city. And you're definitely not hard up for cash. It's a far cry from back when you were in school. Hey, but you are a wonderful host. Thank you for the food. I, I lost my appetite. Where should I put this? It's fine. I got it. Dad's health has improved greatly, thank you for asking. <laughs> he 
walks around the house with his four and eight cane and a brass handle. He would <clears throat> he would pass out if I told him he looked like a pimp with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the house is really quiet now. He, he never regained his ability to speak. I'm glad that we buried the hatchet you know, years before all that shit went down. Shit hatchet. to make peace, you know? Yes, if you can. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's your mom? She is a sweet lady. Mom's sweet. <laughs> Alex here at the church, uh -huh. usual. Of course he is. He still bothering you about uh, giving us some grandkids? <laughs> no. Um, Delia gave her three fat grandbabies in rapid succession, yes. Uh -huh. uh, twin girls and a fat baby boy, so hopefully I'm off the hook of life. Yeah. You know? <laughs> what about you? <coughs> Jones, I thought you'd have enough children to <coughs> build a basketball team. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the community is my family, and I'm a devoted father. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Listen, man, um, I got to get to work. Hey, man. <clears throat> Must I remind you that I am an officer of the court? Motherfucker, you know how many cokehead lawyers I know that get high on the <laughs> Okay, you're not doing blow, are you? I don't look like a dope fiend to you. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come at you like that. I'm just, it's been a while. Real talk, I don't know what you're into. Oh, you pull of that real talk. <laughs> well, I just smoke occasionally. For medicinal purposes, I gotta keep my black hole in check. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so you mind if I light one up? Hey man, I've never been able to stop you from doing what you wanna do. Do you think? Like, oh yes. I have always got to do my thing. <laughs> talking to? You've been talking to Benny? I wouldn't trust that fool to save my life. He was always talking. What rumors you heard? What, what you talking about? <laughs> Word on the streets and in the blogs is that uh, oh, that, oh, that, oh, that, oh, and, uh, somebody's about to be a big star. Yes, that might be true. That's actually one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. Should have known that's where you were hit. Should have true. Like, like, might be Being on the Panther documentary. It was nice. Camera loves you, brother. Look at his face. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, but it's just uh, one platform to advance our agenda. Mm. Mm. Revolution and a steady paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they gave Sharpton a show. They gave Jesse a show. Shit, I guess she was like next in line. Why are you clowning her, brother? What, no conk or rhyming? Oh, come on. You got jokes, huh? <laughs> Just make sure your ass tunes into my conk-free revolutionary rap television. Shit, I will do it religiously, brother. I mean, you're crazy, but with your skill set, I do believe a television show is something you'd excel at. See, it's not, it's not just about me, though. If we can reach the people where they are, through TV, through social media, then we have a chance to advance some real change. And the money that I make <clears throat> helps to advance some of my organization's riskier projects. What I really need is uh, your professional expertise. It'd be nice to have you in on this hustle, just like old time. Well, I'm done writing speeches, man. Well, I'm done writing speeches. Some things that might hold it up. Things that might hold it up. I really don't practice that type of law. No, I handle property and that type of law. No, 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 it's got to be you. It's got to be somebody I trust, somebody I got history with, you hear me? But uh, regardless, I wish you luck with everything, bro. Hey. I know you feel some kind of way about it, but uh, have you on as a regular guest.
guest. <laughs> yeah, like a commentator. What, like talking? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you feel? <laughs> said it would really help us boost ratings and, and, and find a niche if I could get some really upright. your expertise, you can help some people avoid, how do I say this, certain legal complications while fomenting revolution. You mean like the uh, mess these uh, new movement folks have gotten themselves into? The new movement folks? You know what you're Can't believe these fools going around. You know what you're This country was founded on genocide. This country was suicide. Favorite pastime is war and then baseball. <laughs> Favorite pastime is... Nobody's been hurt, man. Well, they've chosen the targets very carefully. Well, Nobody's really hitting the heart of the empire type shit. Like the empire. Nobody's been hurt. Besides, I have a morality clause in my contract. Why? Nobody. Why? Television show. Nobody, brother. I'm not trying to. Nobody. Upset old massa, huh? <laughs> you sure you want the white man out of your mix? Oh, brother, the white man is a whole way. You want the white, white. Oh. sheets in the guest room and there's some space in the car. Put your suitcases up. Thank you. Sheets in the clean sheets. Get all this work done with me at the pad? Yeah, man. No, this, this is fine. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, let me get you some clean towels. It's fine. slow like molasses. When I first get off the road, I like to take my time a bit and relax. Oh yeah, it's still snowing out there. It's not really good for anything unless you like skiing, but <laughs> I never understood. <laughs> Enjoy sliding down a mountain with sticks attached to their feet, but I guess white folks got an shit to get excited about. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's definitely snowing a lot more. The snow, those snowflakes look much bigger. Yeah, I haven't checked the forecast, but I'd be willing to put money on it being a nor'easter. A what? It's a nor'easter. It's a, uh, we call it, it's, you know, it's a storm. Yeah, big old storm. <laughs> I hope not. I cannot get trapped up here. <laughs> hey, if you don't mind, I think I'm going to make myself another drink, you know, maybe warm my bones up.
true prince, you're killing me. <laughs> this is a nice library you got here. Morris Library you got here. I always like good writing. Thanks. Why don't you go upstairs and shut down? <laughs> well, I'm gonna think I'm gonna chill here for a little bit. <coughs> You gonna get that? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like I said, I gotta get this done. Go ahead, like your shit, brother. Don't bother me none. Right. Bother me none. Yeah, I really need to talk. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> hey, Brown. Yeah. I talked to him. He seems cool. I have it with me. Um, I will ask him later. And see. Well, I can't right now. Tell those motherfuckers to wait. To bring some love <laughs> here today. Today. Okay, don't punish me. Kai. Hey. Come over here, man. What's up, brother? Hey. What began in California just a few weeks ago has begun to spread east. Police and federal agents continue to look for suspects in connection with several bombings. Uh, oh, it's really jumping off now. Sources They always gotta raise the stakes with our people involved. This is with our people involved. Association, the only radical group on campus. There are no parties, no step shows, no line brothers, no sorority sisters, but, well, maybe a few <laughs> sorority sisters, but there's definitely no bullshit. 
And we're about overturning the status quo and changing the world. Mm -hmm. And remember this, if you remember nothing else, there is absolutely no quitting. Understood. Okay. Come by this Friday. The crew has to see how you think. We'll play some Midwest in spades. Yeah, I'll come by, but um, I don't play cards. Okay. We'll slap some bones then. What do you? You don't. You don't play bones either. Nah, I don't play dominoes, but I can learn. Well, what do you play? <laughs> Come again, speak up, I couldn't hear you. Chess. I play chess. <laughs> You're a real white boy, aren't you? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm, yeah, I'm just fucking with you. I dig chess. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I learned from my uncle, and he learned while he was doing his bed in San Quentin. San Quentin? Mm. Well, I played all the time at the crib. My father said it was the ultimate game of strategy. Have you ever played with a timer? It raises the stakes. No, I never played with a timer before, but I'm gay. Okay. <coughs> Do you want to be white? What does that mean? Your pieces. Do you want white pieces? <laughs> black. Well, I'm always black, but uh, I can make an exception this time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Remember, power can see nothing without demand. It never has, and it never will. The youngster does know something. Your move. Was your uncle there when uh, George Jackson was locked up? No, he did his time a bit later. Hmm. I've seen you around. You've got quite the rep from the column you write for the newspaper. Yeah, man, I think uh, divestment from South Africa is one of the most important issues facing our people globally. And your editorial on the ANC was on point. Thank you. I write about local issues as well. Yes, uh, I also like your piece on the faculty. Hey, there's only one black professor in the English department, and <laughs> he doesn't even have ten. Ah. So what else are you interested in? The cost of tuition. <laughs> Man, it's so high, I got to work 20 hours a week and take out loans. Moms can't help. Hell, I moved back home just to help, so things are kind of... Hard knock, right? Right. Well, listen, money is not everything. Take it from me. And it's better for people to owe you than for you to owe them, because once you owe them, then they own you. Do not get caught up chasing that dough, young blood. That's easy to say when you got it. When you don't. Ah, uh, okay. Nice move. I like how you think. Thank you. Uh, timer is throwing me off a bit, but uh, I get the hang of it. Mm. So you're a senior, right? I am a senior. Mm. Fifth year senior. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I think it's cool that you can afford an extra year. <laughs> well, my folks said that they would pay for a school as long as I stayed in class and stayed out of trouble, but little did they know. I'm sticking around for an extra year, you know, make sure the BSA is on solid ground. This is a very vital year for us. We have programs around campus and in the prisons and jails in the community. Uh, and we have connections around the country. Some of our programs are very basic, a few are a bit more advanced, and some are rather risky. Yes, exactly. And I mean, look, I heard you loud and clear at the rally. You said time is of the essence, so I feel like we just need to slow strike down. The iron. Slow down. Slow down, slow down, young man. <coughs> I can see that you're eager. I'm not worried about your willingness. I'm more concerned about your trustworthiness. Man, all I have is my word. Honor, integrity, they're everything to me. What would your former Kappa Line brothers have to say about that? Shit. I can recruit them to join the fight, too. Oh. Persuasive, deliberate, strategic, and brave, too? <laughs> All right. I like how you think, Dix. Thanks, Bob. <coughs> oh, call me Kay. Okay. Kay. So you say you're trustworthy, but are you hard? Hard. Yes. Rough, rugged, <laughs> badass. Are you tough enough? To handle the pressure. If so, then maybe someday you can be the BSA chair. <laughs> Just watch me. You never know what you're made of until you're face to face with the devil himself. Mm -hmm. Queen takes pawn. See? You thought you had Check me. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Hey, good game, though. I like you, Dix. 
And I could use your help with an air. Come by here tonight at midnight. Tonight, midnight. Don't be late. Come alone. You can count on me. <laughs>
carrying a bottle of lemonade and a bag of cookies. It was iced tea and Skittles. <laughs> what? It wasn't lemonade, it was iced tea. Nigga, I don't care if it was a 40 ounce and a blunt! They are killing them because they're black. war zone out there. 
I don't know if you fuck with this. <laughs> Should have brought my boots. Uh, well, this isn't exactly gator weather, Kate. Fuck you, bitch. I like my gators. <laughs> you need to take your ass back home to that cat of sunshine. I don't know how you deal with this cold, man. This is straight up Nordic shit. Getting used to it, man. Uh, another drink? Sounds like one's in order. Hit me. Don't worry about it too much, man. Should be fine by morning. Besides, the snow's kind of nice. Fresh, soft, pure light. Looks cold, white, and sterile to me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be trapped here overnight? <coughs> Gets better by morning. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm digging this exposed brick. Thank you, brother. You don't see that too often in Cali. Yeah, renovating an old brownstone will kick your ass. Mm. Hunt around for original pieces and our paint colors. Despite all that, the act of reclaiming this place calms me. Well, it's a nice hobby if you got the time and money. Mm -hmm. I got nice. Can I see a plaque out front? Yes. It's from the historic Albany Foundation, and it certifies that this brownstone was built in 1855. 1855. Brother, you love this. My home was a stop on the Underground Railroad. What? Yep. Yep. It amazes me to think that folks used to hide here. It's strange seeing people walk up and down the street on that Underground Railroad tour. Sometimes they take pictures, sometimes they cry. Uh. Nothing like a little guilt to bring out the tears of white liberals. So all they need is a little bit of cash. That's rather simplistic. Oh, come on. Don't get all sensitive on me. I know you gotta feel some kind of way about that shit. <laughs> mm. Why shouldn't I own it? It was a stop on the Underground Railroad. Okay, would it be better if somebody else owned it? Somebody that knows nothing about our history or the significance of this place? Would it be better if they tore it down? Hmm? Should we bury our shame for that? It ain't our shame. And I don't care who owns it. I just think it's a damn shame that our history is so cheap. I just don't care. And I What does it get them? You know what? Fuck history. I'm here to change the future for the living. And I hope I fell in love with this place because of its history. It was drafty, neglected, and I got it dirt cheap. If I didn't snatch it up, somebody else would have. Okay? Love this place, man. Upgraded the electrical, the plumbing. Refinish these floors, put in that window, installed that professional grade kitchen. Now it is a palace, a respite from the city. This is sacred space, Dix. You don't think I know that? Almost like a graveyard. <laughs> well, if it's a graveyard, it's one I love back to life. Now it's a garden. It's a living testament to our survival. It's history. Do you realize that slaves enslaved Africans? Runaway slaves used you to mean hide. self liberated peoples of African descent. <laughs> Found refuge in this place, my house, okay? When you own the past, can't hurt you, can't, can't hurt you. means something, especially for those people whose ancestors were once owned. You know, sometimes I think about uh, the people who lived in this house before me and what they did. They weren't armchair revolutionaries. They put it all on the line. They put it all on the line. It Where is this secret hideout?
hideaway spot. This stop on the Underground Railroad. Hideaway spot. This way is the crawl space in the attic. Big enough to hide a grown man. A mild dirt. I a grown man. Chance? Help someone like hide away, like hide a slave, like hide, hide away. Freedom to free others. Slavery is over now. Is right? it though? The way they got folks working day in and day out, I can hardly tell. That's capitalism. No, that is exploitation, brother. You seem far removed in those days of quoting mouth. these days. I gotta provide receipts in my own house. Yes, you do. <laughs> Let me see them. <laughs> okay. Big cap seat. Mm. So I put my work where my heart is. Mm. <laughs> I tutor fifth graders on reading and math. I coach a basketball team at the Boys and Girls Club in the fall. In the spring, it's softball. In the summer, I sponsor a swim team. So maybe we're gonna have so many black, so many prison initiative. Wow. Impressive. Are you running for St. Bougie? <laughs> <laughs> running for St. Okay. I ain't running for shit. <laughs> I don't need titles. I don't need titles. I don't need titles. I, don't need titles. I, I appreciate what you're doing, brother. Especially for those brothers who are locked up in prison, brother. Contribute on a much larger scale. I don't need a larger scale, okay? Those kids know me, okay? Right. Okay. What's it like to be a lawyer? I want to be one someday. That's revolutionary. That's changing lives. When I show up at that prison, most brothers show up <coughs> ready to be fed. They tear apart everything I sit in front of them. Tear apart everything. Okay. What's the knowledge if they were born into prison? <sighs> you may be talking about slavery, but I have my mind on that new Jim Crow. Well, that sounds pretty safe to me. Let everybody else push the push the finish college. Mr. Dixon, carried enough weight in this lifetime. Thank you. Traps. You have a firearm, a gun. Hell, if I was surrounded by all this whiteness, I'd, I'd need me an arsenal. Harriet doesn't love an arsenal. Strap. Mr. Dixon? Black Moses wouldn't have freed so many slaves if she had been packing a couple of rifles. Yeah, she is well aware of her namesake. Yeah. Why? You come up here strapped?
And what does Miss Harriet do? Is she an uptight lawyer too? Mm -hmm. What does Miss Harriet and what does Hey, but I'm, I'm glad that she stayed in the city, you know. I would have done the same thing if I was her. But, uh, Dr. Harriet, uh, but, uh, she happy? Dr. Harriet, of course he is. And to give out Thanksgiving turkeys and skies and turban to give Try to come to me, Kay. What? I'm supposed to be ashamed? Somebody who could be bought and sold. Hmm. So, uh, what are you? Are you free? No. I am not free, but I am on my way to free. Free, free, my way. Until we have real power. Okay. Top that off. Tell me this plan. Okay. How do we get free? Okay. Okay. Plan. of the case for revolution and the logic, logic. <laughs> revolutionary is quoting the Atlantic revolutionary is revolutionary <laughs> we Newton lies say what you want <laughs> speak for reparations that we can use that we reparations without a copy of old. Why do you need me, Mr. Revolutionary? No, I am nothing without my treasure. Revolution, revolution, my treasure for what we are old. A copy of what we are finesse with words. You're finesse with you were the spook who sat by the door. Somebody with your 
skills to help guarantee To ensure reparations for Black America, Martians, good. You are seriously asking for reparations? Oh, come on! For reparations? Good. It's over. We do not get respect anymore by crawling around on our knees. We are demanding. And we're crawling around. On our knees. We are on our knees. For asking is over. Good. For asking. We've been playing defense for far too long. The time for playing defense is over. It's time to play offense. Black folks are catching the offense. Black to play for as long as good. Uh. So you risk it. Uh. As long fail. Good. You can jail the revolution. You can jail the revolution. Good. Quote. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, even death. No, my, my fear is not death itself. But a death without meaning. So, till death do us part. Death, death, till revolution. Good. Revolution wedded to the movement. No, my. I am wedded. The one that did a big in San Quentin. side of the road on his knees with his hands I, in the air. I am sorry, I didn't know. I, I came. Revolution. Only good. The one that did. Revolution. It's just a simple document. Just, what, what happened to you, man? You, you know what happened to me? I grew the fuck back up on me. Good. Do not touch me. I don't need Do not touch me. Revolution. Good. Okay. Revolution. Asking nobody for a goddamn thing. I got, got, I rallies, social media shutting down. Rallies, rally. 1968, K. Hell, it ain't even 1988. Okay. Motherfucker, it's 28, 19, motherfucking 1968. Then black folks cared about something besides themselves. Okay. No, no, no. You are not a man. You are a slave trying to buy his own freedom. Huh? Maybe you can. Maybe you can, but I, I don't know how you can enjoy that so-called freedom if your brothers and your sisters and your white brothers. brothers. Good. 19. Good. 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 You cannot buy everybody out of oppression. That's not the way it works. Even the oppression, that's not buddy. I buy everybody. Oh, they did the king. Buddy, I buy everybody. Black people. Let's text to Fred Hampton. To Gerard. Let's text to Black people. Let's text to Malcolm X. But I both know you died over some drug shit. And those motherfuckers that move might as well have been in a cult. So you want to bury them all? No, I ain't got to bury Call shit. I ain't got to bury shit. They ain't all dead. Elaine Brown? Asada? Uh, Angela what? Davis? Yes. All alive and well. Angela Of course they let the women live. But let's talk about what they're doing to the young leader. What they're doing. But let's talk about Ferguson in Baltimore and Oakland and New York. I was at the protest, brother. I'm still in the streets. Well, as you should be. I'm still in the streets. You would know that the people are leading this uprising. They are fed up. Even and they the SWAT teams moving through the hood. Shit's not SWAT, SWAT team. team protest. What? An investigation? Ah. Uh, detailed reports. We'll report. come back and they'll show investigation. Them. Detailed reports. Police tear gassing protesters in their own front yards. These young people are soldiers. They are in jail after a few kicks to the back of the head, getting shot in the back. Back, back, getting shot and straight. 
These young people, they have the soldiers, and when they have the soldiers, this new group then. New movement? Yes. They are the true soldiers in this war. <laughs> Sorry, you said war. You, you know you're talking about bloodshed, right? Armed insurrection. If need be, yes. You really want a race war. Me? We have been losing a race war for the past 400 years. The time has come for us to start winning. I'm talking about a group of people qualified like you to help us craft a document. I am an officer around. of the court, K. Do you have any idea what type court, K? Do you have? Black folks go to the grocery store, they go to the gym, they go to the drug store. Go to the liquor store. And then there's the dope man. You know, if you ask me, crazy is a Crazy is a This movement is dangerous and crazy. Okay, I don't know. I don't care what you call me. And I don't give a fuck how I don't care what you call me. How big your whip is or, or how light skinned your bitch is. Nigga, watch your You ain't nothing but a boy until you're ready to fight and die like a black man. Hey, I hustle. Just like you. Just like you, but I hustle for us. That's easy for you to say. You weren't born on welfare, forced to scratch uh, for everything yeah. on forced to welfare. Somebody else will put their life on the line when you're living pretty damn well yourself. Okay. Yes, my life is sweet. Yes, my life. Yes. After somebody. Sure that everybody can live well. After somebody. That sure. After somebody to make sure. Knowing that there is a brother who looks exactly like you. But he is broke and on the streets like you. No one. After somebody. Some of us have. After somebody. Have. After somebody. And if he was like me, I mean, really like me, Kay, his ass wouldn't be broke. You know what else? I could give up. You know what else? Better. 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 Boom. The only thing that matters to me is what I see. When I look in the mirror in the morning, when I put on my suit and tie, I am a proud and tied. For me, and you know what? I grind every day. Everybody Stop wins. Please stop talking. And stop drinking that scotch because it's going to your head. <laughs> Listen, I understand. Years ago when we shut down that university look, 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 look. to convince I'm the not best trying to go down memory lane with to convince I'm, to convince I'm, look, look, look.
somebody that has uh, never been on academic probation and never been in trouble with the law. Mm -hmm. I'm good on both fronts. Good. And I know you're lean on money, so I'm sure I could convince my father to contribute to your <coughs> bail if it comes to that. The judge? Uh, okay, um, yeah, that's good, because my mom doesn't have any money. Hey, just like bail. Huey P. Newton said, there is no prison that can hold our movement down. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's cool, uh, but I'm, you're sure? I'll make sure. I'll, I will make sure that he contributes. Listen, do not worry. My, my folks, my folks love you like another son. Hell, they love you like the obedient son that they wish they had. But uh, someday the tables might be turned. You might have to bail my ass out someday. You know I would. You know I would. I believe you. You can always count on me. Well, I think we found a way to shake the nerves of the university president. You know Founders Hall, right? Yes, what about it? Okay, you know that statue in front? Of course. Good. Come to my house tonight for dinner with my parents. They will be our <clears throat> alibi. Now, when they go into the den to watch the news at 10, I want you to leave my house, go straight to campus. Go to that statue. There is a key behind that statue. Use that key to open up front door of the registrar's office. The alarms will be off after 10 p.m. You're sure they'll be off? Yes. I need you to drop a package. The instructions will be with the key. Okay, all right, uh, okay. Key, statue, registrar's office, drop the package. And then dash like Carl Lewis back to my house. I'll open that door and he'll even know you left. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can do this, man. It's just, um, nobody's gonna get hurt, right? We are not animal sticks. We're not the ones treating people like subhumans in their own country. Okay. okay. Hey, I, like I said, man, I just like. Uh, you do realize the importance of this, don't you? <clears throat> I do. Okay. Any concerns? What's in it? Huh? You don't need to know that. It's probably better for all parties involved if certain elements of this operation stay in the dark. Okay. I'm counting on you, Dix. I, I, I can do it. I can do this. This has to stay between you and me. Never tell anybody else. Understood. You can count on me. Never. Be careful, Dix. Saturday night, just in Try the tactics 
cats are the ANC and their leader is Mandela 2.0. Okay. That's what I'm about letting folks know that there can be no peace without payment. How can something so fucked up happen without even an apology? How are we expected to go on without getting what is due to us? Even King said America's check was marked insufficient funds. Don't you realize, realize, never, no matter how much they give us, being whole again, no matter how much, never, this is I don't trust them with our souls. But that doesn't mean they don't have to pay. They cannot just wipe the slate clean. So you want blood, shit? I want blood money. Money. <clears throat> money. Mm -hmm. The very evil you accuse, money. You accuse evil. I don't fix, but money seems to be the only thing that they understand. And after being in this wasteland for 400 years, it seems the only thing we understand, too. Money is going to be used. To negotiate on equal footing. Dicks, but patience. So how much? Hmm? On equal footing. Dicks, but great uncle. How many acres for your raped great great grandmother? Your tortured and your dicks, but. Great ass dude murdered in the streets by a scared cop. You know, more than 40 acres in the mule. What? Something much more than that. Affirmative action and well, bitch. Affirmative action? Come on now. Didn't your ass get into law school on affirmative action? It was not a problem back then. No, I didn't get in through affirmative action. Oh, but that's what those white boys think. When they see your black ass walking down the hall, I know. I know you hate that shit. See, but you have no power or control even now that you ain't partner. Power is the only thing they understand and the only thing that they see. It's the only thing that America respects. So are you saying that uh, black folks are Americans now? No, we will never be true Americans. But we are living in this nightmare with those who dragged us here so many years ago. But see, this is our. We need to demand and, if necessary, take what is due to us. We built this country. The time for begging is over. We're no longer on our knees. We are demanding what is ours. We are demanding. So, is that why you're here? To recruit me? It's what our reunion is all about. Good soldiers with the necessary skills are hard to find. <coughs> soldiers with the necessary skills are all necessary skills. And that leaves good men like you who have been on the sidelines for far too long. Who have been on the sidelines for far too long. The truth, Kate. Stand for power, respect, and truth. You're involved with those crazy I, I will not condemn them. And their tactics? Bold, precise, unforgettable. Bomb first, negotiate later? Like. And then.